Hello there, Dean Hansen here. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Galaxy Gear. This is the first edition and I'm going to specifically try and go over some of the things that nobody seemed to go over when I was looking at reviews before I purchased the watch. Things I really wish people would have done. Uh, mainly I wanted to see a call test because that's actually one of the main reasons I got the watch is to be able to make hands-free calls, answer phones while I'm driving without getting one of those stupid little earpieces that I don't like. Um, and so I understand that the call quality won't be as good as having an earpiece because it's essentially just having your phone on speakerphone. But the fact that it's on your wrist and you can keep your hands on the wheel seems pretty nice. You get the call, you look, you answer, decline, and talk seems pretty good so we're gonna do a call test we're gonna talk about some pros and cons and uh, and I wanted to know if it would work with Spotify on my Galaxy 5s um, or s5 Galaxy s5 yeah <laughs> and uh, wanted to see if the media controller would control Spotify which it does um, which is awesome so we'll go over that too so first things first um, one major con with the device is S Voice is just junk on here. I'll ask S Voice something on the phone, and it works perfectly fine 95% of the time. S Voice on here only works about 10% of the time. You have to be really basic. You can't, if you say set a timer for 10 minutes, it almost never works. If you say call somebody, it usually will. It's a big con, but let's do a call test real quick and just see. I told my buddy I was going to call him and test it out. So let's just do a call test. So to activate S Voice, you hit the power button twice. Let's see if we can get it to call Ronnie without going into contacts. Call Ronnie. Calling Ronnie Roger Alduz. <laughs> right. Excellent. So it's working. Seems pretty quiet. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man. Uh, just doing this quick video test. Wanted to see how the how it sounded. Can you hear me okay? Right on. Yeah, it sounds perfect. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, I just wanted to do a video test. So you're kind of like gonna be famous now on YouTube and stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, all right, man. I just want to do a quick test. I'll let you get back to work. You're working today, right? That's right. All right, cool. I'll I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Okay, we'll see ya. See ya. Bye. So you can see that the uh, calls come through pretty good. It seemed like he could hear me fine. I could hear him fine. Um, and S voice did work for that. Let's test another S voice thing really quick. I've had a really hard time getting it to understand me when I say anything more complicated than call somebody. So let's say. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Set timer for 10 minutes. Excellent. Start timer. Um, actually, that's the first time I've ever been able to get it to set a timer. <laughs> Every other time I've told it to set a timer, it has said, I don't understand you. So. Seems like S Voice is doing a little bit better today than it was the last couple days for sure. But be prepared for S Voice to not work very well. I couldn't get it to do anything for about two hours at one point. And I was searching the forums and trying to get it to work. But so sketchy S Voice, even though it would work perfectly fine on the phone. Um, so let's do Spotify. So we did the phone call test and that worked out good. Let's do Spotify, which I was happy to see. No setup required or anything, it just works. So say we're listening to Spotify in our car or whatever, and we're driving. Um, if you go to the media center, you can stop it. Pretty responsive, about a half a second delay. Go to the next song. She, 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 only Volume control. Everything works just right out of the box. I was really happy about that. Ch 
so yeah, Spotify, a definitely, definitely awesome right there in the media center. Um, really happy about that. Um, another pro, we already did the call quality, is um, if you are near the phone, if the two devices are near each other, you don't have to swipe, you know, for the S5, you would have to normally do your fingerprint sensor, or you'd have to do, uh, to unlock your phone, or you'd have to do a pattern to unlock your phone. Um, if the devices are close enough to each other, you don't have to. It just knows that you're you, it knows that you're using it, and, uh, and it just works right away and that's really cool because I you kind of especially for this you kind of have to turn it this certain angle to get the fingerprint sensor to recognize your fingerprint and as long as I'm wearing the watch on this arm and picking it up with that it seems to never really need me to put in a passcode or a, a, a security lock or fingerprint and that's just automatic so that's a really cool plus I like that one other thing I wanted to go over one of the last pros I was going to mention that I didn't see other people really mention was um, today's schedule. Now, I went in there into the settings and put today's schedule right there to the left. You know, you can adjust where certain things are. Um, today's schedule is pretty cool. You can see I have three events. I did a test event there. The Galaxy Gear video. And um, TV to Best Buy. I got to take a TV back to Best Buy today. And so yeah, these are just the events straight from, it just shows today's. Um, those events are synced up just straight from my calendar on my phone, right here. Um, and I just put it into my phone like normal and it syncs up and you can see it right there. And then when I'm at work, it'll know my inspections and stuff like that or that are all, anything in there will be in today's schedule. I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, those are the main pros I want to talk about. Some cons that people didn't seem to really mention was the S Voice. <laughs> it worked good while I was doing this video, but it's rare that S Voice works well. Um, there's no maps. I thought I could have swore when I was looking into getting this device. Now this is just Generation One. I think Generation Two does have it. Um, is there's no turn-by-turn -turn map? application I can't find one now I only spent about 20 minutes looking for one so maybe I can find something like that but I'm sure if I root it or whatever I can get something like that but out of the box I was just kind of hoping that I could do turn by turn motions is not very good so when you first get it it has this motion detector on it so when you you know if you're wearing it and you looked up at it it would the display would turn on without pushing the button um, the problem with that is, is your hands are moving a lot and it's just kind of always turning on and off. I only used it for one day and I just felt like I was wasting battery having the motion on because it was just always just randomly turning on and off. I'd look down over at my watch and it was on and so I might turn that back on, I might not, but I put that under cons because I wanted the motion to be a little bit better than it was. I didn't want it turning on and off just by me moving my arm. I was kind of hoping that a, a specific motion would get it to come on and then other random motions wouldn't, but it kind of just <laughs> was always turning on and off. Um, those are the main things I'll, I wanted to talk about. But, you know, if you get a text message, let's send myself a text message really quick. Show you what a text message looks like. When you get an incoming call, it's pretty much just like what you would expect. You just see their face and their name and you just accept it or decline it. Um, and uh, as far as text go, it's actually pretty cool. Let's uh, go ahead and send myself a text. I already tried this once before. I called myself a bitch. Let's just say hi, Dean. So we send ourselves a text. Mm -hmm. You hear the phone go off, and then this comes off. I got a message from Dean Hanson. Select it. Hi, Dean. You can go show on device. You got some other options here. Show on device, select reply. S voice reply is a joke. If you try to use S voice reply, um, it, it doesn't work. I'll show you what I mean. Now is not in your address book. So send message. 
says, let's cancel that. It just, when you say yes to voice reply, it says send message to Noel. Like nullify, nobody, nothing. And then it's like, I can't find Noel. It's like, so it doesn't work well at all. Pretty much anything to do with S voice has been pretty much a joke. Um, so yeah, that's my basic review of the Samsung Galaxy Gear first generation. I'm um, going over the stuff that nobody else really did. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.